whoops. All right, this is just a quick little video here of hopefully starting the GTS right now. I'm just starting to rain, so I'm gonna put the camera inside. And here's the jerry can. Gotta fill up some gas. And yeah, I'll set it up. Alright guys, how's it going brothers and sisters? Some backstory here. This is gonna be a very interesting video, just to say the least, you know. Because so far, it's February 21, I don't know, Sunday. Uh, and we just, my friends and I just finished mounting the newly cleaned and refurbished gas tank and newly installed fuel pump in here just this morning and uh, and I just filled it up with uh, some gas I'm gonna fill up the last jug I had to go four times back and forth back to the gas station in here because my jerry can only hold held one gallon four liters you know so that's I wanted it to at least be like one quarter or something like that so I'm gonna put the last gallon of gas in the tank and we're gonna see because it's hopefully this will start I mean it's been two months since it hasn't started but if it does start it's running on a brand new fuel filter brand new fuel pump and a cleaned out refurbished OEM gas tank so I'm super excited and let's get to it let's fill the last gallon right now it's a little bit raining which is why it's a little bit windy too so if you guys are experiencing some wind noise you know that's not because of me <laughs> okay let's put the last gallon of gas my jerry can's so small you know too bad it's not like a 10 gallon one or something I put the last remainder of a gallon gas in there just now and I, I sort of misplaced the, uh, the the fuel filler cap right now so I'm gonna steal the fuel filler cap from the parts SR5 right there and I'll be back in a moment this is this is the uh, it's all wet with water it's a Honda whoops it's a Honda filler cap so I'll get the one from here, so I'll be back. Okay, got the key. What does it say? 97, 1987 Corolla SR5 parts car. I made a video about this um, on my. It's on my channel. And yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go to what we need. Oh, that's pretty stiff. Hopefully that opened it. Okay, it didn't. Looks like we gotta try harder. Try harder. Clearly. I don't know, somebody bent this whole thing. Whole mechanism thing. Please open. Oh, all right. So, just gonna take the cap from this. Put the cap here. Gotta clean it though. And a TEQ. Very nice. OEM. Okay. I'm so nervous right now, but excited at the same time as it hasn't started since we had that fuel system issue. So, I'm gonna set up the camera, open the open the the hood and you know be along for the ride okay we'll be back all right just remember that the battery's probably all dead right now so I quickly attach the charger booster up to it so 
just gonna rephrase again, guys. This will be, well, an attempt to see if the GTS finally started because there's a problem with the fuel system issue. There's a problem with the fuel system, so we replaced fuel filter. Brand new fuel filter, brand new fuel pump, and recently cleaned gas tank to get rid of all the crap. And there's 93 octane premium fuel, about four gallons in it right now. <laughs> so we'll just give this a couple minutes. I gotta sweep the floor. And hey, we'll see if it starts. We'll see if it starts. All right, guys. I'm a little bit nervous and a little bit excited. Nervous in a way that if it doesn't start, we have bigger problems to worry about. But if it starts, I'm super excited, you know? So I'm gonna turn the battery charger to the start mode. Now it has a big buzzing noise. <laughs> and we'll see, hope and pray. Guys, let's start this thing. See what the heck's gonna happen. I didn't realize I didn't have a wiper, so I scratched the windows, the front windshield a tiny bit. And I can't really hold the camera at the same time driving a manual transmission car, so I wish I could bring you guys, but... Let's see if it starts just fine. I'm gonna turn it off, see what happens, and restart it.
see before uh, I've never heard the the GTS start that quickly since since we changed basically everything I guarantee you it was the fuel pump something called every, once the in, before all the repairs I've done to it before when the engine warmed up and I wanted and I turned it off and I wanted to start it one more time it would take like 10 seconds of cranky taka 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 you know just cranking and just struggling to just start now that's the first time I've seen it started up so easily after a warm uh, start uh, after the engine warmed up I mean I am so happy we really fixed the problem I gutted the in, in, uh, interior because I'm gonna clean it very, very thoroughly. Uh, you know, and this was a track car, so you could see. Um, in, in, you know, in the past, you know, we're gonna sand down all that surface rust, repaint it again. You know, it's virtually rust-free. There's the signs of a roll cage, but this is why I bought the car. First of all, because it was rust-free. Let's see if I can get you in the action right there. Yes. What is that noise? It was something. It was rust free for one reason. Look how much. Look at the kilometers on this. 151,000. And I resetted the trip odometer when I got it. So I only drove it nine kilometers. It's going to turn around to say nine kilometers. 151,000 kilometers all original <laughs> that's about I don't know 90,000 uh, miles you know as you can see I took off all the radios We're gonna completely clean and detail everything here you know had a short shifter uh, was installed in this you know and an aftermarket knob and a, obviously you could see an aftermarket chair I'm looking for, I'm changing this back to original condition. And also this Momo, this is going to be for sale very very soon. That doesn't work. And uh, this is a little bit broken because during its drift days, you know, when they were making those crazy turns in Chicago, you know, this, this sort of snap. So it's stuck on high beams. Uh, and uh, yeah, when you signal left or right, it's, it's not that smooth. <laughs> but yeah, oh man. I don't want to be too loud. Let me back up to my part of the to the other house. Okay. Let's see if I can get you there. Yeah, there we go. Oops. Make sure nobody's driving in the in the back alley. I can't see what I'm doing at all. There, now I can make a little bit more noise. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Man, it's actually quite nice and warm now. It's too warm, you know? Thank you guys for watching and have a great day and a better tomorrow.